they're not just a new play thing. They're not just your wife's new buddy. They're not your new buddy. They're your son or daughter. What's up, guys? Jeff and Jeremy here. Another episode of 5-Minute Fatherhood. This one uh, is kind of a question we sometimes get from guys and fathers and sometimes in our group. And uh, it can be phrased different ways. But essentially, it is, what am I supposed to do with an infant? And I think... Um, this question is actually coming from a real place for a lot of fathers because sometimes we feel unnecessary in those first six months. We feel kind of kind of on the the, the fringe. We don't feel we don't we don't feel necessary. We don't feel central to uh, an infant with breastfeeding and all these different needs that are so clear, obviously, at that age. Um, but what I think is sad then is because of that, sometimes the default mode kind of becomes just like remove yourself and see them when they're two years old type of thing or later or not helping. And I don't think that's healthy either. And so we really, really believe here that fathers from day one should be as close to their babies and children as possible. And actually that that stage, that six to 12 month stage is actually integral with in regards to attachment. And so making sure that that attachment is strong and being formed to a father, not just the mother. Um, is really, really, yeah. really important. And so, Jeremy, I know you got a bunch of tips here, but what are some of you would say? Yeah, guys, this is this is a really challenging thing for our culture. Probably the most common thing I hear from guys when they first have an infant is like, what am I supposed to do with it? And maybe I should just give it to its mom until it grows up and can throw a ball or, you know, and, and, and all of that kind of makes me go, uh, I think you are misunderstanding what this child is. They're, they're not your toy. Yeah. They're your yeah. son. They're your daughter. And so what do you do with it with an infant? It's a super important period um, for the infant, but especially for you, because what's happening like so you imagine you just you just this baby just came out of your wife and you're like you're holding him and all kinds something's going on inside your heart. Be very, very careful to pay attention to what's happening in your heart, Um, because what's going to happen is probably one of two things. One is you're going to be like you're going to feel awkward and you're going to start to want to reject the baby. Okay, that happens to a lot of guys. Okay. If that starts to happen to you, um, you desperately need th- this time to embrace and l- allow your fatherhood um, sort of identity to rise up out of you through bonding with that infant. They're not just a new play thing. They're not just your wife's new buddy. They're not your new buddy. They're your son or daughter. And so how do you do this? You have to open your... You have to, first of all, if you start to feel that sort of rejection happening uh, at all towards your child, and it can be very subtle. It could just be like, I don't, you know, I don't know if I like this. I don't know what to do. And you're just wanting to distract yourself and sort of move away, let your wife take over. I'm saying you guys like resist that at all costs and, and really lean into this experience. This is your son, your daughter. And the way that you have this experience is you have to say those words in your heart or out loud constantly. And you, when you say their name, you know, this is my son, you know, Johnny, this is my daughter. Yeah. Like, and, and what you're trying to do in those moments is, is awaken something inside of your heart. It's there. You need it to come alive. And that is your identity as a father. That infant is trying to transform you from a man into a father. Allow them to do that. And the way that you do that is you have to embrace them and, and bond with them as your son or daughter. And it's sometimes not easy for us. You know, our wives, they're feeding them and they, they're crying when they're not with their, with, with their mom. And so a lot of times you can experience what you feel like is rejection from your infant and be like, well, I, yeah. I you know, like, like <laughs> figure out how to hold them, figure out what they like, figure out, you know, it's like you got to get to know them. You got to bond with them. It's so important, mm-hmm. you guys, again, for your sake, for the sake of your heart, uh, you need to have this bond. You know, one of the things that ancient cultures used to do that really helped men get through this season is that they would actually, all their guy friends would come over and celebrate the infant with this this new man, right? And they they wouldn't do like cigars on the porch. They would take the baby, you know, and they would run around with the baby, you know, over their head. (laughs) Um, You know, there's a really great scene in this movie, Ushpazin, I mentioned before. It's a great uh, modern day Israeli movie, but the the culmination of the movie is a bunch of men celebrating this new man becoming a father. And I mm. just like, there's also a scene, I think, in Robin Hood, that old Kevin Costner movie, <laughs> where yeah. little John has a baby and like he grabs the yeah. poor little infant, this little, he's I have a son, and he runs <laughs> around like the whole little village up in the trees. And I mean, I remember when I first saw that, I'm like, well, what's he so excited about? You know, like this was before yeah. I had any epiphanies about fatherhood. Um, but man, that's that could be really cool. You can like celebrate with your friends, or so those are a few ideas. And I just had a conversation recently with a friend of mine who's about to have their first child, and I, I get so excited about this season. I also get so bummed 
when guys are like, you know, you know, come talk to me when you can throw a ball. Like that is not the right yeah. answer. Um, but Jeff, how have you done this? I know you guys have gone through this a lot. Yeah, I think the exact same thing. I think it's just it's so critical to to be comfortable with infants and babies. Um, and what's cool is I think we see the, the not, not opposite problem. We see the success in our community. I think what's really cool about the community we live in and where you can sometimes, where fatherhood is really upheld, you really see the beauty of, man, it is so rich and compelling to see like fathers always holding the babies, right? And yeah. fathers always like, um, you know, playing with them, taking them on dates, you know, to giving the wife a break. And I feel like our community where we live here in Maui does that really, really well. And I just sometimes am like speechless, like, man, this is so compelling and incredible and awesome. But it starts with just day one, you know, and leaning into that, um, regardless of awkwardness or uncomfortability. Um, and actually, like, it's such a joy and it's such a gift. And I think realizing that is huge. 